Okay, you guys, Venus here. How's everybody doing? Good morning. Ah, the sun is rising right behind me. It's, um, what time is it? It's, shit, sorry. Uh, I don't know. It's three minutes until six o'clock in the morning. So, basically six in the morning, literally. But anyway, uh, it's been quite a little while that I that I seen and talked to you guys. Quite a little while. Yes. So, how's everybody doing? I hope everybody, you all are doing okay. Wherever you are in the world, <clears throat> day or night, I hope you all are doing okay. So, right now, <clears throat> it's a little bit early for me since I don't usually wake up this early, especially for for anything. Let alone at a hey, because uh, I've I have a new job. It's at a coffee shop. Yeah, coffee shop. It's at a Dunkin' Donuts, which I'm pretty excited to work at a Dunkin' Donuts. I really am. It's kind of exciting. I mean, with a big company like Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks, I guess people consider that fast food, which I didn't know. I honestly didn't know people consider that fast food. To me, it's just a stinking coffee house where they sell coffee because is what they specialize on in my mind coffee like what the heck <coughs> yeah sure maybe <coughs> some quick breakfasty food here and there and <coughs> that's great hey more power to you right <coughs> but i'm loving it i really am <coughs> so far i am I can't complain, especially because I get to drink coffee. And I, who doesn't love coffee, right? It's one of my stinking favorite drinks. Right now I'm drinking water. So, as soon as I get to work, I'm gonna grab my coffee. Because I get two a day ones that I want. I get to pick two coffees. Of course, the, the one is to drink water. Like, of course, duh. I'm like, they don't want us to die. Not literally, but you know what I mean. They don't want us to die. <laughs> so, they give us uh, two coffees. And of course, you have to drink water because I mean, not that coffee is bad. It, it really isn't. <clears throat> but if you consume too much, then it becomes a problem. So, yeah. But anyway, um, since I last spoke to you guys up until like today, of course, a lot, a lot went on. And a lot has been going on, so <clears throat> yeah. Oh, long story short, kind of it took uh, about a month or a little over a month for me to find a new job. <sighs> So, it was tough. Uh, I'm happy I have a new job now. I'm happy. I really am. It's just 
one thing that is stressing me out really bad though, it's uh, rent. I'm behind two months. Like, uh, it's a lot of money that I have to pay. And it's uh, close to $2,000 and that's including the late fees. And that is stressing me the hell out real bad because I don't know how in the heck and way I'm gonna find the money to pay that amount. And so I would be at zero balance before my I'm stressing over it like bad, <clears throat> bad, bad. And doing overeats isn't even cutting it anymore. Well, it's never cut it at all to begin with because they don't really, they don't pay enough to make a livable, what they pay, it's not a livable wage. So, that's out of the question. And it's gotten so bad and I'm stressed so bad that, uh, wait. That I've been looking <clears throat> for another job, a part time. So, That's what it's come down to. Looking for a stinking part-time job. And that's sad. It really is. Because for one, <clears throat> for one, everything's gone up in price since COVID happened. Everything went outrageous. Everything went up in price, rent, let alone food like nobody can live okay anymore nobody can really eat a decent meal anymore <clears throat> and that's not okay that's fucking ridiculous I mean it wasn't really COVID that made everything go up in price was just bound to happen, especially in bigger metropolitan cities like Las Vegas, California, New York, you know. So, but anyway, I'm not <clears throat> going political and I'm not trying to, to get into the political side of anything at all. That's just what my point of view is that part of everything going up in price was related, I'm assuming, to COVID. So, I don't know. Don't come at me because i that's just what I think, my opinion, I don't know. But, <laughs> yeah. But anyway, as I was saying, my, my well Wait. i'm all, i'm speaking for me at least in my situation <clears throat> everything's gotten bad to the point that i'm stressing out because i don't know how or where the hell i'm gonna get the money to pay for rent and be a zero balance way before may so any applications for a second job, even if it's part-time, I hope somebody hires me, even if it's just stinking part-time, because, like, I, I don't want to end up in the street or in a shelter. 
because at one point I was living in a shelter and I promised myself that I wasn't gonna end up there and I'm gonna be bound to make that happen and not end up there even if I have to become a stripper to make some extra money <clears throat> but yeah uh, looking little by little part-time jobs even if it's for a little bit until I get back up on my feet and pay for shit that I need to so night and right now that the check that I got today like literally it went a little bit went to pay for my cell phone bill and the rest went to rent which was like around 400 three close to two four hundred close to two close to four hundred dollars so i'm broke i'm literally broke so i'm not i don't know how or where i'm gonna get the money to pay for shit to buy food for my dog because he's my priority for toby he's my priority right now and he needs to be fed <clears throat> he's you know like the star of my list like top of the top you know even if i have to ask my mom to take care of him for me for a little bit i'm sure she'll be more than glad to help me with him and care for him for a little bit for a little while as soon as i get my shit together and i'll fuck up everything which i'm not just trying to make ends meet <coughs> so and i even forgot to buy a stinking bus pass fuck <coughs> but uh, we'll see i have a, a fancy camera like i like to call it it so I can just go to the pawn shop and sell that fucking thing. Excuse my language, but yeah, to make maybe a little bit of money <laughs> to at least pay or to buy a bus pass. Because last time, a couple weeks ago, when I took my bicycle, when I rode my bicycle to work, <laughs> it was all nice and dandy, and I hid it <clears throat> and locked it where my boss suggested I should and other of my co-workers suggested I should and of course it was locked up you know hidden away from everything well not everything but away but accessible away from things like visibility but accessible enough for me to when I got off work to get on it and right back to home you know because my bicycle is my car I, I just look at it like that my bicycle it's my car and it's what I use to get to and from places you know if I need to go to the doctor Uber Eats or work to and from work appointments you know you name it <clears throat> I use my bicycle and of course I walk if i'm not using my bicycle i walk it or i use public transportation to get to and from places which it honestly doesn't bother me because i like doing that it's to me in my mind that's like exercise that i'm getting that I, otherwise i wouldn't be able to get or that I know I wouldn't be 
I wouldn't get any other way in some way if that makes sense probably to <laughs> any of you uh, I'm sorry that I'm looking around like I'm a crazy person I'm just you know looking at the streets like both ways because I'm crossing and I'm walking to the public station transportation and I don't want to get run over so but anyway <clears throat> yes what I'm doing so yeah and please guys really really please wish me luck so I can find a part-time job at least so or another job even if it's part-time or only part-time at least part-time so <clears throat> I can <clears throat> get money so I can make enough money and pay for shit that I need to feed the dog because he's my star of the list rent and bills so because I need the shit so please wish me luck guys where so I can find another job so hope so oh, so We'll see how it goes. And thanks for coming along with me, guys. And thank you for listening to my rambling. So, thank you, guys. I hope you guys stay safe wherever you are in the world. And I hope you have a great morning or night or even evening wherever you are in the world, okay? And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye stay safe oh before i forget don't forget to comment like and subscribe if you will and i'll talk to you guys soon.